Hi, it's Dan from EV Fire Safe. We're just checking out the Volvo FM electric truck here at AFAC Brisbane. Uh, identifying this vehicle, it's very subtle differences between the electric and the uh, combustion engine vehicle. So what we do have here, we have the FM, we have the electric, we also have the triangle on the number plate with this vehicle being registered. Having identified this vehicle as an electric, it's important to go through and find your emergency response guide. So we're really fortunate uh, in Australia and New Zealand, we have the ANCAP Rescue app. They actually have some Volvo electric trucks on there. Uh, this one isn't quite there yet, but to go through and immobilize, what we'd be looking to do is apply the maxi brakes, the park brake, if you're able to, put it into park and turn the ignition off. Make sure you use your uh, wheel chocks off your truck as well, front of front, rear of rear, um, and get those out there as much as you can as well. So this vehicle is running around about 12 battery packs, uh, six stacks on the outside of the chassis rails where you might normally find fuel tanks or add blue tanks. Uh, it's quite subtle, uh, but once we identify we're dealing with the electric vehicle and we want to isolate that power back to the battery packs, uh, referring to the emergency response guide again, you'll find behind this reflector is a cut loop. So that will drop the low voltage power to the contactors of the battery packs and isolate the power just to the battery packs. That'll make emergency responders much safer working around electric vehicles. So on your left here is the battery electric vehicle. Uh, there's no fuel at all on this vehicle. You'll also notice there's no air intake. We can't see any exhaust stack coming up or anything like that. Comparing that with the internal combustion vehicle, uh, we have what looks like a standard fuel tank. We also have a battery pack up here compared to the electric that's hidden in between the chassis rails. We also have an air intake. So these are really subtle differences between a ICE truck and a battery electric truck. It's really important to start assuming that whatever vehicle we might be facing on the road in a road crash incident may be an electric vehicle and we go through and we find the emergency response guide for that and take those appropriate steps. So I'm standing in front of the ACT Fire Rescue's BA support truck, which is now a electric vehicle. This was just unveiled uh, yesterday at AFAC. Uh, congratulations to the ACT Fire Rescue Service. This is their second battery electric vehicle. How do we identify this vehicle as being electric? So we have registration, we'll look for the blue triangle. On this side of the vehicle here, we can also see some high voltage cabling, which is orange. That's a bit of a giveaway. We don't have fuel tanks. We also have charge ports for the vehicle like any other electric vehicle as well. So this vehicle is on the ANCAP Rescue app. So the Volvo FL Electric. Uh, what we'd be looking for is how do we identify, then we want to immobilize, and then we want to isolate the high voltage power. To do that with this vehicle, it's as simple as a little toggle switch just here, but refer to the ANCAP Rescue app or the appropriate emergency response guide. So that's been a really quick look at the Volvo electric trucks here at AFAC 2023 in Brisbane. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Catch you again on the next one.